A point of confusion for many people is whether they should buy and use a weight distribution hitch for towing. In this video, we'll take a hands-on approach to the topic and demonstrate what a weight distribution hitch does to the towing dynamics of your travel trailer and tow vehicle. Hey everybody, this is John Marucci. You know, I made the jump to traveling with my R-Pod back in 2016 and have never looked back. I've had my share of problems along the way, and this channel attempts to be what I wish I had when I started out. So let's go ahead and jump in. The purpose of a weight distribution hitch is to balance the load of the trailer and tow vehicle to provide a safer towing experience. If the trailer is leaned back too much or nose up, the weight of the trailer may be too heavy behind the trailer axle. This can cause serious sway issues. On the other hand, if the trailer is leaned forward too much or nose down, the front axle of the tow vehicle will rise. This can make steering feel sloppy and potentially dangerous. Either extreme can be a problem when towing. A weight distribution hitch acts like a spring and moves weight forward or backward between the trailer and tow vehicle depending on how it is set. So let's look at this dynamic using my 2017 Toyota Tundra 4x4 truck my 2020 Keystone Bullet travel trailer, and my Blue Ox Sway Pro weight distribution hitch using 1,000 pound tension bars. After a recent camping trip, we decided to visit a cat scale located at a TA Travel Center truck stop. The truck had some gear in the bed, and the trailer also had normal camping gear. We did empty all holding tanks and the fresh water tank, including water from the water heater, so the trailer had no additional water weight. We used the scale four times in order to determine the effect of using a weight distribution hitch. With a CAT scale, if you're unfamiliar, you pull the tow vehicle and trailer up onto the scale and rest your front tow vehicle tires on the first weigh plate, your rear tow vehicle tires on the second plate, and your trailer tires on the third weigh plate. Once weighed, the scale will yield the weight for each axle. Our first way was for the truck without the trailer. We wanted to get a baseline of how the truck axles weighed given the factory stance with the camping gear. This would be how we would compare the effects of the weight distribution hitch. Here are the weights. The steer axle was 3,380 pounds. The drive axle was 3,020 pounds. There was no weight on the trailer axle with a total axle weight of 6,400 pounds. That's the truck alone. The steering axle shown here is the front truck axle. The drive axle is the rear truck axle. The trailer axle is the weight of the trailer axle. And the total axle is the sum of all the measurements. Of note is that almost 53% of the weight for the truck is on the front axle. Next, we want to see how adding the trailer to the truck would affect the axle weights of the truck without using a weight distribution hitch. This is very interesting and will provide a baseline to use to compare against towing with the weight distribution hitch. So here are the weights. The steer axle was 3,060 pounds. The drive axle was 4,040 pounds. The trailer axle was 4,600 pounds with a total axle weight of 11,700 pounds. Notice how the weights have changed significantly. With the front steer axle losing over 300 pounds and the rear drive axle gaining over 1,000 pounds. Our third way was with the Blue Ox weight distribution hitch attached at nine lengths of bar tension, which is fairly common. Here are the weights for that way. The steer axle now went to 3,240 pounds. The drive axle went to 3,780 pounds. The trailer axle went to 4,700 pounds. And the total axle weight was 11,720 pounds we immediately see the effects of the weight distribution hitch on the truck axles. The front steer axle gained 180 pounds, and the rear drive axle lost 260 pounds, meaning the truck moved significantly back toward factory stance. Finally, we weighed with the Blue Ox weight distribution hitch set to eight lengths of bar tension, effectively increasing the tension on the bars and moving more weight to the front of the truck. On this weight, the steer axle was 3,320 pounds, the drive axle 3,660 pounds, the trailer axle 4,720 pounds, and the total axle weight of 11,700 pounds. With this adjustment, we see the truck move even closer to factory stance, 
with an additional 80 pounds added to the front steer axle and another 120 pounds removed from the rear drive axle. So let's look at a few scenarios given this information. First question here is how does a trailer without a weight distribution hitch affect my tow vehicle stance? To do this, we use the truck only versus the trailer with no weight distribution hitch. If you plan to tow a trailer and forego the use of a weight distribution hitch, be aware of the change in weight dynamics of your tow vehicle. In my case, we removed 320 pounds from the front of my truck axle by adding the trailer without a weight distribution hitch. That's a lot of weight loss and will likely result in a sloppy steering feel. Also, if the front of my truck isn't as planted, the braking situation could be adversely affected. So to me, this is a safety concern given my truck and the weight of my trailer. While my truck can handle the added 1,020 pounds of payload on the rear axle, this is not a great dynamic to me as it will cause significant rear sagging and put additional unnecessary wear on the rear springs. The next question to answer is how does a trailer with a weight distribution hitch affect my tow vehicle stance? So our next comparison is taking the truck alone and looking at what the weights are with eight lengths on the Blue Ox weight distribution hitch. This will show the effect of the hitch at a high tension setting. In this case, we only lose 60 pounds from the front steer axle versus the factory stance. This is how I usually tow this trailer, and I never feel like the front of the truck isn't anything but firmly planted. The steering is solid. On the rear of the truck, we have only added 640 pounds, limiting sag and avoiding wear on the springs. The next question we want to answer is how does making a small adjustment to the weight distribution hitch change axle weights? So our final comparison here is to show what happens if you adjust the Blue Ox weight distribution hitch by just one chain link in order to increase bar tension to move weight forward on the tow vehicle. Just one chain link does make a real weight difference. The front steer axle adds 80 pounds and the rear drive axle loses another 120 pounds versus having nine links. Just one link makes a pretty big difference. This is why I like the Blue Ox as it is very easy to change link settings based on how your trailer is set up geared up or watered up. If I know I'll be camping close by, for example, and need to bring water in the fresh water tank, adding over 300 pounds to the trailer, I can adjust the tension higher to compensate for the additional weight. Other weight distribution hitches can be adjusted as well. And if you use a different brand, you should understand how to adjust it in order to be flexible in your towing situation. Also, this entire analysis is based on a very specific towing setup, my 2017 Tundra, and my Keystone Bullet. Every setup will likely be different and I would highly recommend taking some time at a local truck stop, cat scale, and understanding your towing dynamics. It is very easy to set up a cat scale account. They have a smartphone application that allows you to use cat scales nationwide. With the app, you don't need to interact with anyone to get your results. My initial way cost $12 and each reway cost $2.50. So for just under $20, you can get these four measurements using your tow vehicle and weight distribution hitch. By doing so, you'll have a much better idea of the current state of your towing dynamics. If you're just getting started, a big caveat here is setting the weight distribution hitch up properly to begin with. This will need to be done on a level surface with the hitch mount properly adjusted. Unless you're very confident in doing this and also have the proper torque wrench and sockets, you should work with a local RV shop for the initial installation. You don't want to start off with an unlevel dynamic that the weight distribution hitch can't adjust enough to counterbalance. Hopefully this quick analysis helps with understanding what happens to towing dynamics when employing a weight distribution hitch. I have used one for years, mainly because I like the feel of my tires firmly planted when driving. With the Blue Ox, I also have the ability to adjust the hitch as needed on the fly. I think it's an added safety feature that really makes sense. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. We'd love for you to join the On The Road team by subscribing to the channel. Also, clicking the bell icon near the subscribe button will keep you informed when new videos are published. If you want to dive deeper, we put more content and photos 
on Instagram and Twitter at John Marucci, and we're also on Facebook at John Marucci on the Road. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. This is John Marucci, and so long for now.